everyone moose here air guns of michigan and today i want to talk to you guys about something that i keep i just hear a lot of people talk about this stuff and, and i, I kind of want to cover today i want to talk about slugs i want to talk about today we'll do small caliber slugs um because i think it needs to be addressed um, there's so many air gun infomercials out there, right? And that's what they are. These are people that are telling you that X slug or Y slug is the best slug in the world. And they're showing, you know, these amazing groups and, uh, you know, and they're, they're basically paid to get you to buy a product. But is that necessarily the way that you want to go? In my opinion, it is not. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I say that. So we look at some of the slugs that are out there today and there's nothing the matter with any of them. However, every gun out there isn't going to shoot each one of these slugs exactly like the next gun or the next gun, or the next gun. You might have X gun made by a manufacturer that shoots X slug and it does a great job. And then you take another gun that's made by the same manufacturer and you take the same slug and it doesn't do so good. Well, there's a lot of different reasons why. And we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about tuning your gun um, we're not going to go into great detail, but the effects of why um, tuning a gun is important. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about these different slugs, right? And I shoot all of these slugs. And some of them shoot better than others. Some of them shoot great out of one gun, not great out of another gun. And there's another reason for that as well. So I'm going to try not to make this too long, but the first thing we're going to talk about is barrels. Not all barrels are created equally. No two barrels are identically the same. Each barrel, even if it's made from the same machine, maybe one after another, has something slightly different about it down to a very small, you know, margin of difference. So. Um, you know, it's not to say that they're not close, but one barrel from the, you take two identical guns, one barrel may prefer one slug, another barrel might prefer another slug or not even shoot those slugs. You know, when you talk about competitive firearm shooters, you know, these guys will buy a dozen barrels, shoot a ton of shots and pick the best barrel to go to competition with and there's a reason for that because not all barrels are created equally right every barrel is slightly different it's just a fact of the matter another thing that plays into slugs is tuning your gun you know if i take my um fx maverick that's tuned to shoot 25 grain um 25 caliber pellets and try to shoot slugs yeah i might get some okay results but if i tune the gun to shoot slugs i'm going to get much better much better results so then it comes down to well why all the different types of slugs why all the different grain weightages well there's a reason for that as well if you take um slugs like um, like knockouts, howlers, um, FX hybrids, um, even the H&N slug HPs, the majority of these are all made in the same grain weight. 
So you take a pack of 25 caliber FX hybrid slugs, they're 26 grains. Um, you're not going to find, and they're going to fluctuate as well. I mean, they still need to be sorted if you're really going for accuracy, but you can't buy a 28 grain or a 24 grain um, FX hybrid 25 caliber slug. They just come in one grain weight. 22s are the same. They come in 22 grains. 30s come in 44.5. It's just the way that the hybrids are made. Nothing wrong with that, but to fine tune your gun to shoot more efficiently and more accurately and find out what really works for you, that's when we step into like Nielsen's. If you look, these, this is a 25 caliber sample pack. This is a 22 caliber sample pack in 217. They make these in 218 and 216 as well. Um, and you know, inside of these packs, you get a whole bunch of different grain weights. 24.8, 28.5, 27.5, 20 20.2, 23, and 17.5. So this is a great way to purchase slugs for testing in your guns in 22, 25 caliber. Um, and I believe he even has, uh, I believe he has a sample pack in 177 as well. Don't quote me on that, but I definitely know he has 22 and 25 because I've got it. Once you get into the bigger calibers, the um, the range of grain weights s slims down a little bit. So it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, like if I buy 30 caliber um, Nielsen's, you know, I don't know exactly how many different grain weights he has. Um, but, you know, I generally just buy a box and then, you know, try them out that way. Um, great new company, uh, Zon Slugs. Um, he's actually got, this is the 25 caliber stuff. And I, I don't know if he has more uh, grain weights in this, but he has 37 grain and 33 grain. So it gives us some options, right? We get to, you know, pick which one we want and then tune our gun accordingly. So just like pellets, slugs are the same way. Just because you have a gun that shoots 26 grain hybrids, you know, hole in hole, or, you know, sub M away at 100 yards, doesn't mean that my 25 caliber um, Maverick is going to shoot those the same without being either A, tuned, or B, we just find out that it doesn't really prefer the hybrids. It might prefer NSA, it might prefer, you know, knockouts, it may prefer the Zons, we don't know. But that's why we buy all these, so that we can go out, test our guns, figure out which is going to be the best slug for our gun, the same as we do with pellets, right? You guys have seen this before, and um, let me dig it out here, sorry, I got a cord laying on top of it. But this is my 25 caliber um, testing kit for um, all the pellets, right? So, and I've even got slugs. I've got the uh, hybrids. Um, I've got some H&N slugs in here, but the majority of these are pellets. And so I can take my guns out and I can, I can test them with these different pellets and grain weights and find out what that gun particularly likes best in its current tune. You know, you may say that, you know, you've got a 22 caliber and you only want to shoot howler slugs. They may just not work in your gun. It's just a fact. And let's talk about why they might not or why they could or why they, you know, maybe you can get a marginal. Each one of these slugs has a different compositional makeup. None of these are 100% pure lead, they add other components to that lead. So one might be softer, one might be harder. One's, um, you know, rear end might expand a little bit better, um, you know, because of the makeup of the slug itself. 
um, which, you know, expansion, you know, that's why we like diabola pellets and even slugs is that sometimes that expansion will help to seal that slug inside of that barrel, right? It's not going to be as much of that as there would be in like a diabola pellet, but it can happen and it does happen. So, you know, your barrel might just not like the compositional makeup of one slug over another, whether it's, it's a little too soft and it's digging into the, the rifling a little bit more and, you know, creating drag and deforming the slug. I'm just throwing out hypotheticals because to be honest with you, I've never done a ton of that testing, but I'm simply saying why it could potentially happen. Or it may not like a slug that's too hard. You know, maybe that slug just kind of grits down the barrel and just doesn't come out right. Uh, it could be that your barrel is choked and the size of the slug that you have is not correct. So, like I said, most of my Nielsen's I buy in 217 uh, in 22. I buy them in 217 head size. Um, let's see if this is on here. It's not, um, but let's see, H and N slugs. These are two one eight, right? Now you think, you know, point two one seven is the middle twenty two caliber, and you think, well, point, you know, two one eight. How big of a difference can it be? A lot. Point two one six as well, right? Two one six may not seal. 0.218 might just be too much, create too much uh, drag. Um, the, uh, I'm just trying to see, yep. And even like the knockouts, right? Caliber 217. 217's pretty safe bet in most air guns, uh, but you might find that a 218 shoots better out of your gun. So like I said, there's so many different aspects to this, right? So the reason that I'm bringing this up is more so because I see a lot of people out there that are like, I shoot hybrids. And I'm like, if you ever shot a Nielsen? They're like, nope, just hybrids. Or if you ever shot a Zant? Nope, just hybrids. You ever shot a Knockout? Nope, just hybrids. And I see their groups. And, I, and I'm not saying they're horrible, but I'm just curious. Could you get a Nielsen to shoot better? Could you get more you know, consistent groups with an NSA slug in maybe a heavier grain weight or maybe a lighter grain weight. You know, you may have a 25 caliber gun that just doesn't put out enough power to send a 26 grain slug down at 100 yards efficiently and accurately, right? You may need lighter than 26 grains for your 25 caliber. If you if you look at the difference in the weights in this 22 caliber, I think we went all the way down to 17 and a half grains. So we have 17 and a half grains and um, here, there's 10 grains different, right? So you take a 22 caliber that doesn't put out enough power to shoot a 27 grain, 27 and a half grain slug, right? Maybe it's shooting these at like 810 but you put a 10 grain less slug in there you know and maybe you're getting 910 right just throwing out hypothetical numbers guys don't number crunch me and don't flip out i'm just simply making a comment your 22 may not be capable of accurately shooting a 27 and a half grain slug that's when maybe you need a 17 and a half grain. Maybe this is your, your money slug, right? Um, you know, Howler just came out with, um, and so did Knockout, uh, I believe, in the 177, right? So I picked up some of these Howler slugs in 177, and these are 12.6 grains. And I bought these for my BSA um, HFT gun. Right? I just want to see how they fly, right? I shoot a 10 and a half grain now. These are 12.6 grains. And um, I just want to see if they'll fly out of my BSA Gold Star in 177, 
right? Just testing them out. I've got some of Tom Holland's 177 slugs. Um, you know, I've got some other 177 stuff that I'm just trying out, right? This is the part of air guns that makes them amazing, is that we get to try all these different things to accomplish the best groupings that we can get, right? So there it is, kind of in a nutshell. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys because like I said, I see so many people out there that are fixated on, I only shoot NSAs. And listen, number one, I don't have anything against any one of these companies. Every one of these serves a purpose in my arsenal, without a doubt, without a doubt. I shoot hybrids in some of my guns. I shoot howlers in some, the knockouts, you know, the NSAs, the Zons. I'm still testing a lot of these. So I've got some 22s and 25s, um, but they're really, really promising. And I'm trying them out to see which one of my guns likes which best, right? And then once I find that, then tune the gun to the slug, right? So, you know, I would just say to you guys, don't be sold on all of the hype of I've got to buy that or I've got to buy that or I have to do this or I have to do that because this is what it's about. This is the fun of air gunning, right? Don't take my word that X gun is the greatest gun. I only give honest opinions, right? You may get that gun and say, this is the worst thing I've ever shot. I just don't care for it. I don't like the ergonomics. I don't like this. I don't like that. Same thing with slugs, right? Don't be sold just because somebody says, you know, this is what we shoot, or this is what we shoot, or this is what we shoot. Paid infomercials. I'm not paid by anybody. I just give you guys my honest opinion, and this is my honest opinion. If you're going to shoot slugs, you need to buy a bunch of different stuff. Try them out. Figure out what's best for you. Maybe you got lucky and you bought the NSAs or the hybrids and you just said, hey, that's it, game changer, they work. Okay, that's great. But if you're still on the fence and you're like, man, I can shoot pellets great, but slugs just suck. Well, if you only bought knockouts and they're just not flying right in your gun, and, and believe me, I, I love knockouts, try something different. Buy yourself one of these sampler packs, man. These are the greatest things that you can buy, the NSA sampler packs. So, you know, like I said, just keep trying it out and figure out what works best for you. Till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns Michigan. I certainly appreciate all of you guys joining me. Till next time, be good to each other and God bless.